Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be either part one or part two of a new series of videos on my channel for the new temporary um, home theater. So in this video, I'm gonna be painting this wall, this section right here and all of this. And I am not going to be painting this part right here, here or here. Uh, reason being, um, I am not going to be in this place for that long. This is just a temporary place. And um, again, everything that I do in this space, I have to undo. So the less painting that I have to do, the better. But um, I figured painting this wall and this adjacent wall will make it look like my old theater and definitely darken up the space and help improve the uh, the contrast but also like before i will not be painting the ceiling again for the reason i just mentioned plus painting ceilings are a pain in the butt but i do have a pretty cool idea for what i'm going to do for this wall i'm not going to paint it but um I got some pretty cool plans that I'll go over in a future video. Obviously this is just temporarily set up. Um, that's the old screen. I'm gonna get a newer, better screen. I just tacked this up on the wall just so I could catch up on the latest episodes of The Book of Boba. But um, yeah, and I won't even be using the center channel or these floor standers because if you guys are familiar with my uh, videos. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that uh, about two years ago, I upgraded all the speakers in my home theater system to KEF THX in walls. So I got them right there. And then the other four are in the speaker enclosures, which I'm going to be hanging back up. There's another one right there, another one. And yes, I will be putting up the Dolby Atmos speakers. So I'm still going to have my same 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos CAF speaker system, but I have a lot of work to do. But I had this set up temporarily because, like I said, I really wanted to watch Star Wars Book of Boba. So um, I'm going to be upgrading my screen, and that's going to be pretty exciting. But um, again, that's for another video, another time. But this is just kind of temporarily set up so I can watch some stuff. Definitely got to do some wire management. So yeah, the, the state of this theater, just know that this is all very temporary. So hopefully that'll minimize the questions I get. And I guess the one thing that I didn't film myself doing, but it's not really terribly exciting, I built this temporary um, shelf right here. Well, I guess temporary in the sense that it's going to be only for this space. And then once I move out, I'm probably not going to use it. but. Yeah, I just whipped this together out of scrap wood, painted it black, mounted the projector up there. Still the same Epson 5040UB. I do plan to upgrade this eventually too, but it's still a phenomenal projector and I'm still very happy with the picture quality. And then I have the uh, theater rack all put together. It sits perfectly in this closet, so that's kind of cool. It's out of the way. And yeah, so the rest of this video is just going to be a time lapse of me painting the theater. So enjoy.
Okay, so this is what the theater looks like right now after the paint has dried and the panels have been put up. We got four of the panels up, all of the ones containing the KEF, THX, and wall speakers. Got a leather chair down here. The, um, yes, I'm in a basement apartment. And the theater um, couch that I had in the old theater is not going to fit down the stairs. It's just not gonna work. So hopefully I can find another one like this and set it aside or sit next to it, I mean. Um, but uh, it's just me right now, so this is just totally fine. I got this subwoofer place to think where it's gonna live, but I don't know, I may move it. Um, this subwoofer over here, it's probably not gonna stay there, that's just where it is for now. Probably gonna end up putting it somewhere in this corner but not tucked up right against the corner so that it can breathe and not have such a boundary effect. Um, this door will be blocked. This is storage. Um, and these speakers are only in here temporarily until I build the uh, cabinets for my CAF uh, THX LCR speakers. I have three of these. So, I need to build a cabinet for those. That is the um, ideal size and cabinet volume so that I will get a good low frequency response from them. So got to build those and then hang them up on this wall with a French cleat system, a rather um, beefy one that's um, drilled directly into the studs because each one of these uh, speakers, these in walls, they weigh 25 pounds each. So get those cabinets built, hang them up, get the frame put back together. I'm going to have a new material and um, the screen will be about four inches larger, which is cool. <laughs> Bigger is always better for theater. And then I will be doing something very special with the front area, which is why I did not paint it. And soon after building the um, cabinets, I will be building at least two um, cloud absorption panels, two foot by four feet ones that will be approximately here and there. And then I got to hang these four Dolby Atmos speakers, do a better job hiding this wire. And then the theater will be close to uh, close to done, but I'll probably have at least one or two more build videos for you. This is coming together fast, faster than the old one in terms of the build because I've done this before. But yeah, can't wait to uh, start watching movies down here. I've only been able to watch uh, the Book of Boba down here in a very, very <laughs> um, thrown together, you know, setup where I had this tack to the wall. But I'm moving fast so I can uh, start watching movies. So stay tuned for those next set of build videos and to see what I do with this wall. And until next time, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button if you like home theater videos. Until next time, happy watching.